Imagine that you visit a friend and you show him this picture and you say, you see, I did this. It's the Dumbbell Nebula. It's a planetary nebula. Isn't it amazing? And he looks at it and says, really beautiful. Uh, planetary nebula, can you tell me more? What's that? And you go like, um, planetary, it has to do anything with planets. Um, it, it's beautiful, right? Now imagine the same situation, the same question, and you go like, oh, planetary nebula. That's actually when a red giant in his late stage is expanding and its glowing shell is ejecting ionized gas, which causes this emission nebula. Bam, that's impressive. And by the way, that's also quite useful to know for yourself. My point is when I started this hobby, I couldn't see enough, I couldn't capture enough of what I saw up there, but to be quite honest, I had no clue what I was looking at, and I really wanted to change that. So in this video, I will tell you an amazing way how you can actually get a wealth of knowledge about astronomy for free. Stay tuned. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander, and thanks for watching my channel. So there's obviously a lot of ways how you can learn about astronomy. One idea would be books. I don't know if you've heard about them. A lot of paper, a lot of pages, a lot of letters, a lot to read. Boring as hell. So what else? I was looking around and then I found on Coursera a 12-week course called Astronomy Exploring Time and Space. It's offered by the University of Arizona and it's actually free which is amazing. The lectures are given by Professor Chris Impey. He's the deputy head of the astronomy department of the University of Arizona. And to be quite honest, he's by far probably the best teacher I've ever experienced in my whole life. He knows so much. He can teach you the most complex things in ways which kind of make sense. And he's also quite funny, which um, makes the whole thing extremely entertaining. So what do you need for the class? In principle, you need time. It's a 12-week course, about 43 hours in total, which you have to spend. There are even some hands-on exercises which you can do. And he still goes in certain areas quite in-depth. So while it is still always understandable for a beginner, Still, sometimes it really needs your full focus to understand it. There is one negative part, and that is that the course is already about 10, 12 years old when it was recorded. So, given that this is such a fast moving science, certain things are already a little bit outdated or just not 100% up to date. But the coolest part is that Professor Impey does about, I think, two or three times a month live sessions which you can attend and you can ask questions. So there actually he fills all that in that actually also happened in the last 10 years. So let's have a look at the 10 chapters of this course that you have an idea what is covered. Chapter one is called Science and History. And Professor Impey really starts with giving you an understanding what science is, because everything is based on science. So while this might seem a little bit far-fetched for astronomy, it gives you a very good foundation, also nomenclature-wise. He also covers here the roots of astronomy, how ancient people used the stars for their daily lives. In chapter two, the night sky, he goes on with the history with the discovery of the telescope and so on. And then in chapter three, the tools of astronomy, he really starts discussing about the different types of telescopes and radio telescopes and so on that are actually available to us to discover the skies. In chapter four, he goes again to the foundation and discusses matter, antimatter, radiation, just the basics with which we actually can measure what is happening in space. In chapter five, he discusses the solar system and space travel, 
what mankind has already done, exploring the moon, Mars, Venus, and so on. So all the space probes we, are, we have already sent to space. In chapter 6, he has a look at exoplanets, what they are, how we try to discover them, what meanings they have. Quite fascinating, this chapter. And I think when we go now into astrophotography, chapters 7 and 8 are the most relevant to us. Chapter 7 is about the star birth and death, which it also leads to all the nebulas. And so here we really get an understanding how the different types of nebulas get generated and what's actually happening within them. In chapter 8 he covers the galaxies. And also here I found that absolutely fascinating that based on the shape, on how galaxies look like, we can actually draw conclusions how old they are, how they're built, what stars they consist of, and so on. In chapter 9 he covers cosmology, so the science of the whole universe, how it actually started with the Big Bang and how it will continue to expand. This is really a mind-blowing chapter, which really kind of puts everything in perspective. And in chapter 10, we look at life in universe, what life really means here on Earth, on other planets, how life could look like, what it could consist of, how it's defined. Also challenges a lot of assumptions we had about life. So that's about what you learn in this course. So I think you feel how excited I am about this course. It is just amazing what I learned and it puts my view into the sky on a complete different level I ha as I have so much better an understanding what's going on, what I'm really seeing. So I hope you take this amazing opportunity, invest the time it needs and enjoy the lectures of Chris Impey. Now obviously this is just one way that I showed you how you can learn astronomy. If you have any other great experiences, proposals, how to dive into astronomy or how to expand now on this know-how, very happy if you put it in the comments below. And if you like this video, as always, I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. See you next time and clear skies.